and we're back for another episode of Organist in Residence. Continuing with our Palm Sunday theme, we're going to look at the hymn All Glory, Laud, and Honor. Now, in the pre previous video, we had heard the triumphant antiphon, Hosanna Filio David, which began our Mass. Now we continue with that same sense of triumph and joy with this hymn. This would take place right after the reading of the gospel, and the deacon would announce our procession with the words, brethren, like the Jews that welcome Christ, let us go forth in peace, to which everybody would reply, in the name of Christ, amen. And so we need to accompany this glorious and triumphant procession with an equally triumphant and text and music. And so there's nothing that really kind of fits the bill better than all glory, laud, and honor. A little bit of background, it was originally a Latin hymn known as Gloria Laus et Honor TV Seat. It was composed in around the 8th, 9th centuries by Theodolf, the Bishop of Orléans. <clears throat> the translation that we know came to us in around the 19th century by John Mason Neal. Now, the very triumphant tune that we sing it to actually originated in the 16th century written by Melchior Teschner. And although it was written for a different set of words, it became so synonymous with, <clears throat> with this text because it starts off just like Hosanna Filio David with that same opening fifth. Hosanna, all glory, Lord and honor. So we sort of, sort of keeps the themes going, shall we say, for today. Now, because this procession is a commemoration, the whole first part of the Palm Sunday Mass is a commemoration, it's sort of a reenactment, for the lack of a better term. And so the words of the text speak about our Lord's triumphant entry into Jerusalem. And the text is taken, is, is rooted in scripture, where we talk about the <clears throat> blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the children of the Hebrews are singing to the... And so this tune and this text became such a fitting marriage uh, that it, in most days, we forget that there's an actual different set of words for this tune. Most people refer to it today, the tune that is as Saint Theodolf, named after the bishop, which is kind of brings us a little bit of interesting trivia when it comes to hymns is that there's, there's the hymn itself, which is actually the words. And then we have the tune, which is the music that accompanies those words. Now, there's a link at the end of this video. Make sure you click on it. And without further ado, all glory, laud, and honor. <laughs> <laughs> 